My name is Jeff Campbell and I'm the model supervisor at Industrial Light and Magic. Um, I've been the model supervisor on Pirates 1, 2 and 3. And I started here in 1990 working on Terminator 2 and uh, after that Jurassic Park and just kind of whatever films came along uh, up until the present. The wonderful part about this is that what keeps you going, what keeps you moving forward, is that things keep getting better, faster, and it's, there's not too many industries where you really feel kind of these quantum leaps that keep happening. Um, the day-to-day -day you always feel like, oh, there's so much I wish I could be able to do, or I wish this was faster. Um, and then all of a sudden something comes along and it changes the whole way that you're thinking about how you're working. In my mind, I was always searching for this tool and thinking there's got to be something out there that will make our job easier, make it uh, uh, conceptually easy to put something together and to be able to change it. If the director said make it taller, make it you know, shorter, three legs, four legs, you could make all these quick changes. Our software department was growing, but we never really had the, the drive to be able to make that happen. And uh, so when ZBrush came along, that was... Uh, that was like a dream come true. Here was suddenly what I had been hoping for all these years was suddenly presented as a package that you could actually get in there and just start sculpting. Uh, Andrew Cause, who is in the art department, um, he had been looking at it as a conceptual tool uh, for building rapid prototyping models. And he and others had been pointing us to the Zebra Central uh, website. And this was at kind of at the beginning of that website and we were knocked out by what we were seeing. A lot of this was um, professional work, a lot of it was amateur work, but all of it had this level of detail that we had never put into a model before. And that was really exciting. That was kind of the moment when I thought, we have to use this tool and we're gonna have to find a way to integrate this into our production. The win for us with uh, using ZBrush really came down to uh, this being a sculptor's tool. Everything up until that point in my experience, in digital experience, had a lot to do with much more labor-intensive technical procedures, pulling and moving around vertices. Sometimes, uh, you know, going back to Terminator 2, you know, one CV at a time. You know, you're just moving these things around and you're waiting for a render. Um, this all completely changed. And ZBrush uh, allowed us to get in there and just sculpt a form. Actually, get to right down to the detail of what you wanted. Uh, you could take the model as far as you needed to take it. In some cases we were probably taking it too far and we were kind of backing off from, from where the direction that we were going. I really don't know how we would have completed these characters. I don't think we would have got the detail any other way. Um, so ZBrush brought uh, a level of detail and complexity we've just never had before.